You shouldn't use my name. Dodson! Dodson! We've got Dodson here! See, nobody cares. Nice hat. You're trying to look like a secret agent? Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Cinema Scumbags Movie Podcast. I'm Seth. I'm Nick D. I'm Matt. I'm Tommy's Nick. Oh, didn't, didn't think this one was gonna happen. Be careful about your volume. Yeah, don't don't scream into the mic, Seth. Please. Sorry, sorry. I'm a little angry right now. <laughs> <laughs> what's got yeah, your did, blood boiling today? What's your, what's your BP at, buddy? I couldn't even take it. It's too high. It wouldn't register. <laughs> <laughs> it exploded. <laughs> yeah. Audio issues. Microphone issues, computer issues. Tossing your fucking blood pressure machine across the room. Computer programmer. Bad, battery guts spilling out. <laughs> Josh, we stop with these stupid computers. <laughs> <laughs> Just read it. I think we're okay. Um, I hope so for episode 57. Tell me, what happened to you last week, motherfucker? Yeah. Just oh, well, halfway through. Yeah, halfway. I just, I just, <laughs> I planned my escape from the beginning. Halfway, I uh, decided to quit. Hey, what? <laughs> No, um, halfway through, uh, I can hear T out there just saying something out in the living room. I'm like, okay, well, what's going on? She rushes in. She's like, the fucking, the fucking ceiling is leaking. <laughs> so, Damn. so I go out there. I'm like, oh, God, okay, what's going on? Yeah, it starts leaking from the ceiling. It starts out slow, you know. And then after a while, it starts leaking from the walls. <laughs> And it's leaking Jesus. into my movie room, into our bedroom, oh. into the closets. Cover so, up the slips. <laughs> so I'm just. Uh, yep. I'm, we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough towels to cover everything. I the mean, steelbooks are gonna rust. It's just. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> this is real life problems going on. No, I'm listening. But the uh, we had to call the emergency uh, uh, maintenance guys to come out. And, you know, the guy's taking his time. He tells her on the phone, "Oh, it's probably condensation." Yeah, he walk. Yeah. He he walks in. He's like, "That's not condensation." I'm like, no shit. So um, he had to he had to go upstairs because I. My first thought was the chick upstairs, or she died, died or something. Of course, left the water running. So he's banging on the door, and my thoughts are becoming more and more about that. And uh, when he comes out, he's on the phone. I thought he's calling the paramedics. <laughs> Basically, uh. Our complex turns off the water, and I guess one of the kids left the the faucet turned on, and when the water came back on, their sink was was um, a little. Uh, I can't think of the word. It was clogged, you little, might say. Yes, yeah. a little clogged. So it seeped through their apartment down to ours. I mean, it just was a fucking mess. Did you lose anything? Did it get on anything though? The water? No, uh, we we moved everything in time. It was flooding into uh, the closet where a lot of extra stuff is so it ruined some of the boxes that's about it but we had to make sure to get the electronics and everything out of way out of the way but nothing was really ruined it just it fucked up our ac for now so, that's right. fucked, fam uh, you missed you missed a great knife and ass discussion oh great well i'm sure we'll have another good one today with cocktails. <laughs> oh this, yeah, yeah it'll be a knife great and ass just, i i yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what though i've never been more stressed since the time the swat came in i'll tell you that wow <laughs> that's right <laughs> Chris Hansen. Yeah. Speaking of water, Seth, didn't you have a yak story you wanted to tell? Well, you know, recently I've been getting into fishing again. <laughs> recently. <I was> like, <laughs> can, you do it in a, can you do it in an accent the whole time? <laughs> well, golly, I don't know if I can. <laughs> Just no, pretend you're uh, one of those you, cock yeah. dynasty people or something. You tie like the string to your like big toe and just <laughs> dip it out there and <laughs> Tom Sawyer and shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, back when I was 16, 17, 18, I used to be a, a top angler in the uh, Quad City circuit. Which is um, a big um, deal. I'm sure a lot of people around there do it. Kind of got out of the hobby a little bit. And this year, I've, I've kind of, uh, you know, read, you know, found my love for fishing again. So I was out my my yak, uh, <laughs> kayak fishing, over in uh, Kill Deer Lake over in uh, DeWitt, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> They, they got some big old chunky bass in that one. Uh, anyways, I was, uh, you know, dicking around out in a little honey hole in the lake. Nice little spot. Uh, um, 
So I threw out my little uh, crankbait, and man, I tell you what, had the biggest strike I've ever had in my life, <laughs> my fishing career. I had the biggest fucking fish on my, the biggest largemouth bass. So, you know, I'm, ooh, I got it. I got it. You know, I'm yelling at my buddy, fucking A, man, I got this shit. This thing, <laughs> this thing jumps out of the fucking water right next to my kayak. I mean, it's the biggest bass I've ever seen. You know, you see those pro fishermen, they got those pictures of those trophy largemouths. Yeah. This was one of those. Yeah. Fi- fi- Five pounds or more, probably like six. I mean, for a largemouth, that's a fucking lunker. How many uh, worms did it take to capture this beast? Or no not? worms. No worms, son. I use a uh, little crankbait action. You know, what the fuck uh, does I, that mean? For you us? should switch to a different method, I think. Well, it's a it's a lure that looks like a fucking minnow, and it, it's got two treble hooks on it. Isn't that anyway. the goodwill way to go? What are you talking about? This is not some grandpa amateur hour bobber worm fishing. We're going for bass, baby. <laughs> well, I, I, going for bass, baby. Well, I yeah. tell you what, I can't wait for your crankbait update. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, I was, you know, I reached down. This thing was so close to the boat. I was just thinking about, oh, I'm going to have the most badass fucking Instagram photo with this chunky bass. And shook off. And I just wanted to tip my kayak and fucking drown because, <laughs> you know, that's like once in a lifetime fish. And I done goofed couldn't get it in the fucking <laughs> well, so, it'll, it'll happen what again. would you have done if you had gotten it would you have taken it home and cooked it or thrown it back it's in catch and release or, yeah, yeah. Not, i mean yeah i catch and release but i mean that's just like a. well you know i always i always told myself if i got like a big bass like that you know you go get it mounted put it on your wall i mean if it was a big one like that it'd be worth it it'd be a trophy but i've only been using my kayak for a couple weeks and that's the first time i've had like a fish on the line and my shit was spinning man you know you're in a little light kayak i'm fucking spinning around and then this thing jumps out of the water almost hits me right in the fucking face and then it just uh shook off but man oh man i'm going back for redemption you're gonna see that picture follow me on instagram seth Harrington. i want to get that lunker i'm gonna have a photo up check it out well we've lost our <laughs> animal lover yeah community Peta is angry no, at us. No, 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 no. Catch them and put them back. I guess, fishing, I guess it's kind of cruel. You're driving so, a hook through the lip. Yeah, kind of hurts. <laughs> I don't sure. keep them. Steve-O made it look easy. Just because they a, can't scream doesn't mean they aren't. <laughs> there's been studies that fish are so stupid they can't feel the pain in their fucking lips. So. There's some humans like that, too. Yeah. Well, so. I'm sure that study was from Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> well, Welcome Seth. To the Bass Masters Classic Podcast. I'm <laughs> Seth. <laughs> Talk about kill deer lake action today. Oh, Seth, I hope you continue with the yak action so we can get some yak stories every once in a while. Thanks, thanks brother. But you know what? I'm, I am gotta quit posting pictures of me fishing. I gotta start posting pictures of actual fish because I'm looking like a poser. So I just picture my <laughs> rod or the water. I, Never any fucking fish. Keep yeah, away the pictures agree. of your rod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pictures of my big rod on Instagram. <laughs> Check it out. Check Next it one you out. see is going to have a fucking monster bass. Take that to the bank, son. Well, maybe you should try getting that monster ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, good. In those, ass over ass. Those shorts, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was X. I'm tired of that. Those are $60 Yankee spring training shorts. I don't know what you're cracking jokes about. <laughs> yeah, they're all right, bud. <laughs> <laughs> that material, cotton, nylon, what are we talking about? Uh, they're, I don't know, 60% polyester, 10, 10% cotton. Oh, God, quit reading the tag. Let's get they're, into the skunk. They're, made, this week, <laughs> they're made from Yogi Berra's hair. <laughs> uh, get to this. Get to yeah. the boot talk, will you? Yeah, but uh, we do have one over on the scum line this week. You know, I plug uh, the fuck out of it every time I get the chance. The number is 213-444-3766. Call us. Yeah, only one this week. I'm. This is This is depressing, guys. What the fuck? Scumbag fans out there, if you're listening, call us. I dare right. you. Yeah. I Look triple it. dog dare you. But uh, like I said, we do have one over here. Uh, I have not listened to this one, so there's no pre-screening. Don't <laughs> know it's fresh. Oh, great. Here I we go. This. Kick Seth off the podcast. What's up, guys? This is Perplex Damage from Iowa. Oh. Hey, I just got out of seeing the piece of turd movie Independence Day 2. <laughs> <laughs> of shit, man. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Hey, this is my uh, this is my question. If you could uh, have one one character uh, from a movie uh, be your wean man at a at a bar or a nightclub or a strip club or whatever for one night, who would it be? All right, scumbags, keep up the great work. <laughs> 
Great question. Yeah. This guy rules. He knows about the Iowa bass fishing, I'm sure. Hollow. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. He's probably yeah, got better things to do. Perplexed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is a really good question. I, Who's someone I was gonna say, in the movie that's like... Well, yeah. I got it. I got this one because I, I, heard, I heard it beforehand. So I had to prep my, my answer. So I'm going with 1990s Macaulay Culkin <laughs> <laughs> as my wingman. What? You want yes, girls you know, to go after a child? or No, see, that's the thing. See, that's the thing. If you have your wingman, right, and he's better looking than you, you're not going to get any action. You're not. So Macaulay Culkin's perfect because all the girls will go up to you be like, oh, my God, he's so cute, right? But then you can pick up on the action. Your son is so cute. <laughs> sure, <laughs> Dad. Right? I mean, we're talking like Home Alone, Macaulay Culkin. So you're going to take Kevin McAllister and his little yes. bedhead from Home Alone to yes. uh, the local uh, Monrovia bar. <laughs> good strategy. I think there's a headquarters oh, up there. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, Rob Schneider's Deuce Bigelow. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are pathetic. Okay, first, first thing that came to mind for me uh, was that crazy, stupid love movie, Ryan Gosling. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, you take him to the, like, you're you're good. He's going to reel them all in, though. You're going to oh, be okay. an idiot. Okay, no, he'll be well, that guy. Uh, he'll be the good wingman. He'll be like, hey, my friend here, blah, blah, blah. You know, he'll he'll, he'll help you out. I, oh, I don't... how about Aldous uh, Snow? <laughs> oh, how about not? How about um, <laughs> like, I, I figure like I hate... Ryan Reynolds? I don't know for some reason like his character in some of those movies. He... He's gonna get all the puss. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Haven't you ever seen Get Into the Greek though? Russell Brand hooks up Jonah Hill. I go with all. Yeah, that but stuff. it's a movie. <laughs> That's what, what you think talk about. I know, but that, that guy is fucking ugly, and he's he's not gonna get anything in real life. Russell Brand's awesome. Hater. <laughs> Hater, big uh, big Russell Brand fan. All of a sudden, uh, love Aldous. Infant Snow. sorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I'd hang out with uh, Leo in the Texas days. Him and the oh, did you ever know. heard of it? Him and the Pussy Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for real? Yeah, that's what they called it. Who was it, part of that? Him, Toby McGuire, Kevin Connolly, a couple other actors. Have a costume, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yeah, they would just like bang every hot chick in Hollywood. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman's a player too. What do you think, Le like? What do you think Leonardo DiCaprio's total count for chicks that he's banged in his lifetime? Two hundred thousand. Fifty. Two hundred. I would You're say thousands. Yeah, two hundred times. Fucking. I was. Thousand. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I'm like, Leo's just one of those people that you know he could probably get like any movie made, like anything he wants. You know. Yeah. yeah. Any chick, like you know, any amount of money for any movie, pretty much. He's definitely one of the highest paid, like fucking 20, 25 mil movies sometimes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's a good yeah. question, though. Yeah, yeah, I like that That's one. a good one from Perplex Damage. I also like how shit on Independence Day 2. Fuck that movie. Fuck the first one. Did you yeah. see it? Nah, I think I'd go uh, see that. Well, I did go see Terminator Salvation, so it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Didn't bother with that one. You mean you didn't go check out Finding Dory? We mm. take back. Uh, I don't want to listen to Ellen DeGeneres for two hours. No offense. <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrible. But uh, for you guys that still need to call in on the scum line, 213-444-3766. Perplex, thanks for calling in, buddy. Call it. We might pick one of you for a random shirt at some point. Call in. There you go. I like that. Yeah. Uh, we do have a few over on the Twitter. The Twitter fan. Yeah. yeah, I got it. So, uh, <laughs> all, that, all, that, I'm on it. all that's my I'm job. It, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. I'm on it. Uh, so there we go. Chris Stearns at Pit of Equality says, that rocks. Uh, "Yeah, says uh, fuck Mary Kill." Okay, this is a good one. Patch Adams, <laughs> Jack, <laughs> and and Alan Parrish after he comes out of the jungle. <laughs> Love listening every week. Keep it up, dudes. Oh my god, <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> that is. Why hmm. haven't we done this one? I don't know. This one's tough. Okay, three different ways to fuck Robin Williams. Go. <laughs> well, Jack, I don't, you know, he's that, that whole. I don't want to answer this. That's, Not to, that's pedophilia, right? Yeah, I want to kill him, so get rid of Jack. Okay, so yeah. then you're just killing kids. Well, whatever. <laughs> Better than fucking them. But yeah, we're married. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> this is a great episode, man. Really, I hope you're listening with the family right now. <laughs> um, well, Patch Adams, you know, he's okay. a smart doctor, so. uh <laughs> I'd like to be married to old Patch and uh, Robin Williams out there. You're going to fuck out right out of the jungle. Wow, sweaty <laughs> and... Yeah. His bush must be like... And he's one of the hairiest men in Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is the fucking worst. Chris, Robin what are you Williams asking this shit for? 
It's a lose, we, lose, lose. We asked for it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. my answer. Yeah, well, I definitely wouldn't bang the Alan Parrish version, you know, because the guy's never showered ever. So you're gonna Did bang he say the question right out of the jungle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alan Parrish <laughs> after he comes out of the jungle. He made that very specific. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to go the route of uh, you know Patch Adams for the banging and. I don't. Can you marry a kid? Can well, we he, answer I mean, this and move on? But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at Seth's answer. How about no, that? No, bullshit. <laughs> you're answered too. I agree with you wholeheartedly. <laughs> wow. I'm a fuck, I'm a fuck Jack then. <laughs> well, <laughs> guy that has the same views as Mel Gibson and fucking. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I don't want to. You guys like Jack? Jack is a great film. That's uh, Frank's I like, I like it. best. Yeah. Never like seen it. it. You say it's his best? <laughs> yeah. Godfather's pretty good, but it's as long as that Jack. fucking movie is. Apocalypse as Now is all right, but Jack. Oh, yeah. Jack. You know who's in Jack? The great Mario Yadidia from Underwraps. Yeah, you know who else is in Jack? Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Can you name an episode that Seth hasn't mentioned Mario Yadidia? <laughs> Hey, anyone out there who could help us score a Mario Yadidia interview on the Scumbags podcast, I'll send you a $100 gift card and a shirt. Believe that. Believe now that. Now somebody's going to do it. And, and, and you're out $100 yourself. I didn't. Good, I'll pay up. Oh, I'll pay up. Worth it. What's, uh, what do we. That, Chris, <laughs> I will pay Chris Chris up. Turn. $100, $100 for that, but not for new headphones. Yeah. Hey. I'm what do we do? <laughs> this moving will you i wanted to ask uh, chris Stearns, how the fuck did he get his uh text that way let us know his uh twitter text you know it's like different oh yeah with the little hammers or some shit cool thanks all right thanks, thanks. Ooh, here we go we got one from ari de haas the other ones de haas mitch <laughs> <laughs> no any romstein fans oh no? de haas mitch yes he came yeah. my videos buddy yeah there you go ari de haas at movie maniac 84 says hey guys which internet sites do you recommend Blu-ray or movie-related. Greetings from the Netherlands. Ari. Hashtag. Great podcast. Blu-ray.com. Um, the only... Love I, you, check, Ari. I check Blu-ray.com every day, but just the deals section. I don't look at any other yeah. bullshit on yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. That site, I go to it every day, but it's so annoying. The people on there, like, there's a thread for, you know, the upcoming Criterion Collection sale, and the guys are, that type in there are just so... <laughs> I'm in for these titles. And then they post a picture of every movie they're picking up. It's like, what are you doing? Just go buy them. Why do you have to tell everyone? I, I'm in for these. And then well, they like hold the, italic. They're the only people that will listen to them. I, I guess. I, but, you know, sometimes like a lot, you know, there's been many occasions like in the middle of the night, you know, when I'm sitting at work, I go to Blu-ray.com like on the hot deals section and, you know, usually find shit like really good deals every so often. Yeah. Uh, I think that's definitive though, Blu-ray.com for, for that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What what sites do you guys go to to pull like movie news and shit like that from? Uh, usually like Cinebublin. Yeah, that's the one I you know if I'm looking shit up. Uh, if he's asking just sites though, like movie stuff, Letterbox is uh, another great site that I think we all use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bit, so. <clears throat> I use it once a month. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you watch one movie a month, so exactly. There you go. <laughs> Th- thanks, Ari. Yep. Uh, we got one from Brad Carrier at Brad Carrier Two. Uh, what sounds up, like. Well, it's not really a, a question. I guess it's a comment. Sounds like you guys have been watching a lot of crap on the uh, first time watch lately. Highly recommend, and I don't know how to fucking say this title. Au revoir, uh, les re- enfants. Thank you. On Criterion. Uh, never heard of it? Goodbye, the infants? Oh, I like infants. <laughs> <laughs> have to check that one out. I haven't, Please, uh, I've never heard of it. Let's take some first time watch recommendations. Yeah. These picks. I think, yeah. I think we'll do a- the last two. <laughs> I know. I've... We'll get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus you Christ. thought Walkabout was bad. <laughs> I wanted to fuck a sibling after I saw that movie. That's <laughs> how bad it was. We'll get into uh, your ancestral feelings later. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Brad, Brad, for that comment. Yeah, yeah I might check that out, so appreciate it, brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got one from Stacy Schaffer at Stacy R. Schaffer. Schaffer? That's another, uh, Schaffer? Oh, okay. Schaffer? That's, a, that's another Iowa guy. He's about, uh, about an hour away from me. Damn. Oh, yeah. He says, uh, hey, scumbags, what are each of yours two or three movies you feel are way underrated or don't get talked about enough? Mm. I think we've answered that one before, but probably at some point. Um, um, underrated. But... Uh, well, since I watched Midnight Special recently, uh, Take Shelter, I don't feel like I've heard a lot of people talk about yeah. that. Yeah. 
It's a good one. Yeah. <clears throat> I still need to watch that. But I'm I, always, I always say The Village. That's like my go-to. Yeah. yeah. I think it was just I always think terribly. of. Uh, yeah, I want to check that out, too. I always think of one of my uh, go-to indie films, uh, The Wackness. Love that mm-hmm. movie. That's great. Massively underrated. Uh, thinking of an independent movie like that, Mean Creek. It's pretty underrated, yeah. probably. Yeah, Mean Creek is good. Really good. Wish I was here. How about that? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Extremely. Criminally. Criminally. Uh, no one ever talks about that. Free Willy. How about that? <laughs> hey, what, yep. what about it? Yeah. In another movie, though, actually, you know, True Romance is kind of underrated, right? It's it like, you know, most people don't really know about it, I don't think. Oh, but I don't hear anyone ever talk about it. Pretty yeah, solid no. movie. Yeah. Uh, there's, so there's just a few off the top of our heads. Off the I know cuff. I can think of other things. But uh, thanks, Stacy. Yep. Well, uh, Stacy has another question for us. Uh, oh. Actor, actress, or director, each of you would like to see have a comeback slash rebirth of career. Well, I'd like to see Charlie Chaplin rebirthed. <laughs> <laughs> Gene Wilder. Again. Oh, yeah. Gene, Gene, Gene. Uh, Gene Billy Gene. Michael J. Fox. I'm, I'm, surpri- the four. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't name one of your, Get some stem cells one of your in him. stupid 90s obscure names, Seth. Oh, well, in that case, Patrick Marty, you did it. Ryder Strong, can you please come back to films? Ooh, that, yeah. Dude, that's a great answer. Oh, Ryder. To start season three of Boy Meets World today. Are you it's happy about it? Thrilled. Probably my favorite season. Cool. Which one was that? Was that high school? Like first yeah, year high school? Yeah, it, no, it's the second Junior year, but it's like, when, it's like when they start tackling the, you know, really uh, serious issues. Like nice. It's the perfect, uh, perfect time in the Boy Meets World lore. Okay, keep going. <laughs> All right, so we got one more from Ben Martinez. What up, Big Ben? E? He says, uh, "Who is your gu- okay, guys? Right? Who is your guy's favorite uh, forgotten actor? Minus Cuba Gooding Jr. Basically, who do you think needs a check? <laughs> First of all, Cuba Gooding Jr. rocks. Radio is a great film. Just gonna say that. Boys in the Hood is a masterpiece. Yeah, it is. It is Pearl Harbor is great." Oh, what? Doesn't, he, doesn't he get? Is he shoot like the turret that gets fucking shot up? He does. He, he shoots down a fucking. Uh, he shoots Jap. down a Jap. Oh yeah. man! And he goes that like, keeps... "Woo!" <laughs> <laughs> Great actor. Oh, that sounds terrible. But uh, Harry McGuire? No, I haven't uh, seen that. One. Okay, I'm using Ryder Strong for this answer then. Ryder Strong needs a check. Yeah, forgotten actor. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, William Russ. One that's mm. not too forgotten, but he's not as big since. Lord of the Rings, Elijah. He yeah. does like indie shit now, and he got yeah. Jurax. Yeah, Cooties, I think was his last thing. Well, I'm gonna say Sh- Sean Astin then. Yeah, Sean, Sean Astin. Astin for sure. Yeah. Does he need a check though? <laughs> Elijah Wood. Oh God, yeah, he's good. North. North. <laughs> North fuck. With Jason I Alexander. I remember that? watching that movie. <laughs> it's a classic '90s flick. I do remember that. Fuck. Macaulay Culkin. Ooh, he needs. He doesn't need a check. He'll just buy more drugs. (laughs) He's an artist. (laughs) He's an artist. Version one. I am an artist. (laughs) That's the sound of a diet coke lime. (laughs) I I don't know why I can't think of his name. Coach Bombay. What's his name? That's Emilio Emilio Estevez. He could get. They give that guy a check. I don't think he's getting paid off minute work reruns. Let me tell you that. He's smoking pot at the Orpheum. I saw him. You you guys ever see Judgment Night? (laughs) Yeah. Great film. Where's that Blu-ray? Yeah, is that it's with? Uh, is that, that's with what's his name too? Um, Dennis Leary. Dennis, Dennis Leary's the bad guy. It's got yeah, a yeah, Cuba, yeah. Cuba Gooding, Emilio Estevez. Great right. film. Bill, I mean. Men at work. Men at work. Fans. Anyone? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic Comedy Central. Uh, late night. Great eighties band. <laughs> oh <laughs> God, I know what you're talking about now with the cones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Men at uh, work. Classic band. No. uh Great question. Who is that? That, that was Ben Martinez. Ben. 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 Always love hearing from Ben. Ben Thanks, is ben. the yeah. fucking man. But that was it. Or questioned. Yeah. So let us know. Drop us some more uh, questions on the Twitter, Instagram. Check out the YouTube channel. Tons yep. of content coming. Always. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys are fucking meeting up this weekend, huh? Uh, yeah. I'll be in California Thursday night. Yesterday, no, yesterday, yesterday night. Yeah. Oh, so you're already there. What am I talking? I'm, I'm We're already recording this in California. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you guys got some stuff you're gonna work on. Though. I think you're at Universal Studios today. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I am, and I love it. It's so much fun here. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna do a movie night. We're gonna meet up maybe with the Webster. Oh, fuck yeah! Come Make sure when you do uh, your movie night or your um, movie hunting, title it real obnoxiously like all these other guys do, like best, best fucking movie, movie collaboration <laughs> trip ever. Yeah, uh, we'll be sure to. No. That'll be hilarious. That'll be cool, though. Tons of, uh, you know, it's badass. Badass! When, uh, <laughs> you know, a couple of us can meet up. Right. Even though it's hard for us all to get a, in the same area at the same time, you know, we can uh, break off into pairs and that uh, that works. So Yeah, I think, uh, I think me and Seth are meeting up in like three weeks, too. Oh, so. yeah. Ju- July is going to be a, a big month for the uh, the Scumbags channel mm-hmm. on YouTube. You know, we're going to, yep. these guys are going to be doing videos and me and Nick D have like fucking five, six that we have planned, whether or not we can, you know, record them all. That's to be seen. I think we'll, we'll manage to get them out though. So, um, tons of stuff coming up. Yeah. And uh, while, July. while we're on the, you know, YouTube stuff, I want to go ahead and this is the first time we're going to mention it, but, uh, we're going to be doing a huge criterion, uh, giveaway contest on the yeah, YouTube huge. channel. Yep. For uh, our thousand it's subs. The biggest for... contest giveaway ever. Ever, yeah. ever, All ever. Best yeah. contest giveaway <laughs> ever, ever, I, ever. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, what we're aiming to do with that is four different uh, uh, winners. We're going to give away a handful of Criterion titles. Yeah, the uh, what we think are some of the essential titles. So that's going to uh, launch when we close in on a thousand subscribers on the channel, which we're about at 900 now. So, um yeah, a few weeks. I think we can probably hit that uh, hit that goal. So, yeah. you know, if you're listening, share the page, um, share the podcast, get get us you know some traffic over there on the channel. And uh, yeah, as soon as we get to a, a thousand, that's when we're we're gonna launch that contest. So that should be pretty cool, man. Just kind of saying yeah. thank you to you know the people that have backed us up to this point. Yeah, should be awesome though. I mean, four criterions. Yeah, it's a great contest. I'm fucking stoked about it. Wish I could yep. enter myself. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, be on the lookout at youtube.com slash cinema scumbags. Uh, did have a little bit of news I read. Not not a whole lot this week, but uh, did you guys read the little article? Daniel Radcliffe possibly may return to Harry Potter in the future. Uh, <gasps> Jizzin? Jizzin over there? <laughs> While I'm sitting in Harry Potter world right now, right this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what I had read, you know, Daniel Radcliffe did like an interview, I guess, uh, promoting that Swiss Army Man or whatever, and they asked him if, you know, the possibility ever came for you to play, you know, Harry Potter again, would you? And he said no, but he said, look at Har- look what Harrison Ford did with Star Wars, you know? You can so he's essentially it. saying when he's 67 or 70, <laughs> he'll do it? Well, I mean, just imagine, you know, like a 40-year-old Daniel Radcliffe coming back as Harry Potter, that would be like insane someday yeah, if, if that, it didn't that- happen. That'll happen. I mean, you know, only a matter of time. It Money could talks. happen. Yeah, it could I happen. I, I just, uh, it was a little fucking article, and I'm like, man, I grew up on those movies, and, you know, that would be like Star Wars to me. Like, for the people that saw Star Wars when they were a kid, and they're getting to see Harrison Ford, you know, like, in the films now, yeah. that's, that's how that would be for us. I so that'd vividly be- remember being in the theater to see the first Harry Potter movie the day it came out. Yep, yeah. same. Cool. Fucking cool. great. But, uh... A uh, little, some video game news for you gamers out there. Uh, my, <laughs> Minecraft's getting a movie. Fuck uh, off, move on. Who the fuck needs a Minecraft This movie? is for the 10-year-old gamers. Directed yeah. by Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's so uh, weird. What? Yeah. Rob McElhenney? Yep. yep. Oh, my God. It's, uh, it's, that, that's what they're giving him, huh? To do his, like, directorial it's, debut? It's going to be a live action. <laughs> <laughs> live and, action. Rob, you I, get Minecraft. Dude, I don't even want to direct anymore. <laughs> you guys have done such a fantastic job with It's and, Always Sunny. Here's this shit. No, it's like he's at the board meeting. He's like, and that's it for all of... Oh, wait, Rob? Um, Here's Minecraft. <laughs> Can you give us an update on the uh, Minecraft? Uh, God, you know. Not acting. You don't have to gain weight. If he yeah. puts It's Always Sunny humor into it, I'll watch. But yeah, no, it's supposed to be live action. Uh, it's only it's slated for 2019. I don't know why we're, fuck we're bringing it up, but it's going to be a... Quite all before we see it. You guys ever hear this game or no? Because by the time oh, yeah. by the time you the movie comes first. out, it'll be dead. Minecraft. Minecraft. Minecraft is a big deal. I don't never fucked around with it. It's just not my type of thing, you know. It's like, I guess, like fake gamer stuff. Just little kids playing it mostly. Yeah, those are like the little pricks on fucking you know Xbox Live and shit that scream into the mic. Those are the guys yeah. who play Minecraft. 
No offense if you're listening to play Minecraft. That's that was a really <laughs> bad it. general. No if you're one of those little pricks. <laughs> that was a really bad generalization of the Minecraft community. Uh, uh, mine too. Yeah, but, I don't. Uh, I never played the game myself, so I don't. I don't really know much about it. But uh, I like playing games with you know like a beginning, middle, and end, like a plot storyline. Minecraft is just kind of like a creative thing where you just yeah, fuck around, build shit. Stuff. Like, well, uh, well, I also read about a uh, video game that's going to be made into a trilogy of films. Called tre- that, Tetris. <laughs> yeah, Tetris what? is uh, Tetris is slated to be a sci-fi thriller. Oh, fuck God. off! See, yeah. that should have done like that should have been in the nineties. It should have been never. Movie. Yeah, well, I mean, if they were going to do it, I just have no idea what the fuck do you do with a Tetris movie? That's got the same just, thing I mean, to do with Angry Birds, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, like, from what I read, the guy the guy that's directing it has said that uh, it's not going to be like people with feet on blocks. Like from what I understand, it may not even be animated. Oh, I I have no no clue. That's just reaching way too far for uh, an idea. Next, the snake game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming soon to theaters. Pong 3D. <laughs> Coming <laughs> soon, I, mouse trailer. The game. I mean, it's I, just like, it, how is there? Is there a Pac-Man movie out there yet? Because if not, I see it happening soon. I mean, pixels, yeah, pixels. <laughs> Pac-Man is like a character though. Tetris is fucking blocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it, it goes along <laughs> with like objects. it goes along yeah. with inanimate, mindless fucking people. <laughs> do you guys, do you guys ever play that? Uh, it was on the original Nintendo Game Boy. It was just called Box, <laughs> where you just walked around, and pushed boxes or whatever. Sounds oh, like. Wait. It's a ripoff of like Tetris. A, are you like an actual guy? Yeah, you're like a yeah. fucking Bob the Builder type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm waiting for a Pitfall movie any day now. The, oh, like a, te- a Tetris movie just sounds like some Nickelodeon exclusive shit. You know, like, yeah. coming to Nickelodeon. Tetris. Yeah. I don't Tetris know. <laughs> Give it up. Fucking fuck. Come up with something original, will you? Shit. Uh, I know we mentioned a little bit earlier. I think Seth is uh, dogging on it. So is Perplex Damage. Independence Day Two gets destroyed at the box office, pretty much. Yeah, I just don't think it, I don't think anyone wants to see it, man. I don't know. Well, well I think this is like the second weekend for that Finding Dory. Yeah, and it made like seventy mil in its second weekend, and I think uh, Independence, Independence Day didn't even clear like fifty. Well, you know, a buddy of mine is uh, loves the original Independence Day, and he was hyping up, you know, going to see this sequel forever. And uh, you know, he went the, the night it came out, and I, I saw him the next day. He told me there's there's like you know just a few people in there, which pretty sad for you know like that type of movie opening night or whatever. Right. So I, I you know, you know they should have done an Independence Day sequel a couple years after the first one. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's 2016. Yeah. Like who even remembers Independence Day? Or right. cares. Well, I, I guess it's set up for another sequel, so I think th- I think they're already developing another one. Yikes, man! I mean, I feel like it was probably shitty when it came out. I mean, no one. I mean, it's pro- it's not like you know some of these other movies that have like a cult following. It just like, it I made a like, lot of yeah. money, and that's why. Yeah, they don't want to see Bill Pullman and the chick from It Follows running around shooting aliens. <laughs> yeah, the only remake Bill Pullman's going to do is Casper. Oh God damn shit, it! Sign me up. I don't know, man. Jeff Goldblum. Can I you know, remake you? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't like Independence Day. The original Independence Day is so fucking lame and cheesy. Yeah, welcome to Earth. But honestly, like I would pr- I would probably watch that sequel if it was in front of me just out of curiosity. But I just don't think it's uh it's not a big draw anymore. By curiosity. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I I feel you though. I mean, I, I have no interest in at all. I didn't like the first one. It was. You know, it was just a boring ass flick to me. Yeah. Not it's one thing if you like recognize Independence Day as just being a stupid summer blockbuster. That, but there yeah. are people that legitimately think that's like a great piece of sci-fi cinema. Like, what are yeah. you talking about? Right. Break. But uh, I mean, that's, that's Jeff Goldblum, though. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're good, Jeff Goldblum. Should... I mean, that the the one franchise he should be coming back for. Yeah, say you know that's it. What I was gonna say. You no, know, you, you go ahead and finish it off. Well, can we get? Jeff Goldblum signs on for Jurassic World 2. Because you know what? Three. The Fly 3. Is there a second one? Oh, I, yeah, yeah, there is. Grand Budapest Hotel 2. Have, you, have you uh rewatched that Jurassic World, Seth? I know you didn't like it upon first no, viewing. You... I've, only seen it, I've only seen it one time. No? Okay. I was just curious I, I, if it's grown on you or anything. Yeah, I want to watch it again, but uh, I don't know, man. But yeah, get, throw Jeff Goldblum, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and that's a sequel. Shit, I'm there. Yep. 
won't happen though. Instead, we're no. gonna get Henry Wu or whatever the fuck guy's name is running around with dinosaur embryos. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like Laura Dern, she's like uh, in TV these days. I mean, you'd yeah. think she'd want to come back to films, you know? If she you did two ninety nine homes, you can do Jurassic World. Yeah. If you, if you was gonna say if you do a Jurassic World movie, I mean, that's big for your career. I would think, you know, huge. Shit. I don't know, man. She but, doesn't want to give in to the big Hollywood names. Well, right. Bruce is like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But that's, uh, you know, I don't have a whole lot of other news this week. There, I mean, it Slow hasn't week. been much, yeah. What uh, what do you guys got for Blu-rays this week? I'm uh, sorry. Didn't pull it up. <laughs> pull it up. Sorry. Kill time. I was, I'm, str- I'm not editing. Hey, how's it going? Fellas? Oh, this is live. You want me to live. just go theatrical well, do, yeah, then? Do, do uh, theatrical, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What do you got? Okay, let's see. What the hell? You're not ready either, idiot. Oh, no, God. it's just, it's showing me How could you... showing me the wrong shit. Amateur hour here on the Scumbags <laughs> podcast. I had it up, but it's like Amateur hour. <laughs> Can we get the Bulk and Skull theme right now? <laughs> <laughs> Jeopardy music, please. Yeah, I think we dumped boop, that. We're boop, we're on Double Dare now. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Okay. oh, yeah, yeah. Here we, we go. Talk- okay. okay, so <clears throat> first of all, which Mark w- Summers has OCD. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. We have uh, a new remake, whatever, reboot, whatever you call it. The Legend of Tarzan. Oh. Argo Robbie. <laughs> 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 Looks hey, like. Hey, baby, you ever had Fat Man? What does he say? <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole licked by Fat Man and Oak Goat. <laughs> Dude, who cares about Tarzan, okay? T is anyone going to go see this? This is going to be a fu- oh, T. I'll probably end up it. seeing it because T wants to see it. Whatever, do a review for it, bitch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in. A, I'll be in a California, so I won't. It's not going to oh, compare to that classic track. We're not doing that as a movie. Yeah, we're not doing so that. And as- they're an animated Tarzan. Yeah. 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 That fucking yeah. like is really good from the late cool. nineties. Well, never got one. into that. Tarzan. I prefer really George of the Jungle. Tea. Hell yeah, that's a Brendan Fraser classic. Oh, Leslie Mann, so hot in that. <laughs> I hate her. God. I know. <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> Next top five, Seth Rogen. Oh, top dude. five, Leslie Mann. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you get so five? Tarzan. Cable, guy. Cable guy? Who's Margot, Rab- Margot Robbie's, like, uh, Jane? Yeah. Is that, is that her name? Yeah. I don't know. Still wouldn't go see it. <laughs> uh, we have... Uh, uh, Is he? The Purge Anarchy. Or, excuse me, election year. See, I don't even fucking know. I don't even know. Uh, Peanut Brain, is the water still there? (laughs) I just don't care enough, you know? The Purge. I've never seen the original Purge. The The Purge Erection Year. (laughs) God. (laughs) Rather see that. Is it it in the first one, though? I'm curious because I know some people do like that one, actually. Yeah, never never bothered. I only kind of veered away from it. I want to stay safe from the Purge. Lock your doors. Don't leave home. Movie the election year is a little different because they they target the uh, like the senator, president or whatever senator candidate. Or something. Yeah, senator who wants to like stop it. Uh, oh, that sounds fucking awful. It's the uh, cool. it's it's Mrs. Claus from the Santa Claus trilogy. Oh no! Front, back, side. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everyone out there, uh, Stanley Booba, yes, no, is back, please. Side <laughs> Our favorite channels. Um, the one mm. thing that I will probably check out eventually, the BFG. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, all right. Who's, who's directing no. that? Steven Spielberg. Hey, hey he's back to the uh, children's genre. I like it. Yeah, if you're uh, listening, make sure you check out... Um, our top five Steven Spielberg films video on YouTube. Yeah, pretty uh, solid vid. One of my proudest moments, actually. And yes. if you don't agree with the list, uh, you know, I'm sorry. That's my list. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, just like, just like, just like. <laughs> not even gonna get into it. <laughs> but it's yes, uh, it. that's it. It's yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of different things coming out, but nothing really <laughs> of uh, of significance. When's uh, when's BFG? Uh, that's that? the live first. Sounds like a uh, Chinese restaurant. Friday. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the BFG? <laughs> Did you guys go to BFGs? <laughs> <laughs> rah, um, so rah, com- rah, rah, rah. Coming to Blu-ray, a whole lot of nothing again. Oh, Steven Spiel... Uh, Steven Spiel. <laughs> Steven Seagal. <laughs> Easy. Sorry. Slow down. I- I'm Steven Peanut Seagal. Brain? <laughs> <laughs> Slow. Sorry, I got Slow. My I'm sorry. Steven Seagal <laughs> is in a new movie. 
Anyone want to know what it is? That, no. He still acts? Yeah, he still acts. He's like a fucking cop and a sheriff. <laughs> you guys, yeah. what, what's the movie called? The of Code, Code, of Honor. Uh, oh, Code of Honor. Yeah, he hasn't made about three of those already, probably. God, have you ever seen those like great uh, videos on YouTube with Steven Skull like fighting jujitsu? Oh, I swear! Dude. I swear! The people he's fighting is paid. No, <laughs> to lose. Just watch him, Don't dude. Tell me that, dude. He does like absolutely nothing. Just watch him. He's like yes. overweight, and he just like flips a guy with the flick of a finger. You know, it's just okay. it's like re- it's like pro wrestling. Whenever Stone Cold like stuns somebody and they do about three flips, yeah, it looks like overpaid. Mm, that's <laughs> depressing. Uh, yeah, so that's coming out. The Adderall Diaries with uh, James Franco, which I, I saw a trailer. It's actually on Amazon Prime to view. Is it? Okay, yep. cool. Might want to peep that. That's coming Sounds out. Like and then one of those movies. Another one you're going to like, Seth, By the Sea, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Why, um, like, why would Terrence I like Bell. that? I don't know. You wouldn't. <laughs> that's the point. Yeah, oh, there okay. you go. I get he gets saying. it. Why would I like it? And I'm a water brain? Why would I like it? <laughs> like Terrence Malick, fucking Angelina Jolie's directed Ugh. movie. Terrence Malick, the worst director Terrence ever. Terrence Malick. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence, and, no story. Yeah. Oh, now. If you want Terrence, a story, go read a book. All right. Terrence, cool <laughs> shots, <laughs> film, no plot. Called the film for a reason. <laughs> cool shots, you. no plot. <laughs> Malick, there's, so much, there's so much story in the great outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> That's. That's supposed to be a fun. Yeah, okay, I could, I could describe you the plot to the Great Outdoors. Describe me the plot to fucking <laughs> the Tree of Life. Nicky, let's team up. Take this shit down. This bullshit ass Tree of Life. Oh, the worst movie ever made. It's it's the beginnings of life and how evolution evolves. Boy, that was a, a great fucking description. NES start in you. <laughs> I was falling asleep during those space scenes. Horrible. Well, then don't watch it. You guys can or, go watch Bucky Larson. Seriously, look like Star Fox sixty four CGI. <laughs> Worst shit I've ever seen. That's a lie. Okay. Okay. That's enough. Good. Enough bashing. Okay. <laughs> Is that all we got coming out though, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, uh, you know, filmies. He just recently. Oh wait, no, we got one more. Sorry. Okay. I want to bring this one up. Okay. WWE. Living on a razor's edge. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! I need to see it's that. Just, I bet you. That's, that's why don't you the, guys uh, explain the plot of home. that? Well, you know, if you guys are familiar. It's sports with, entertainment, you dick. <laughs> you <laughs> dick. A few weeks back, we talked about the uh, Jake the Snake, uh, the resurrection yes. of Jake the Snake Roberts documentary, yeah. and yeah. you know there wasn't a whole lot of the Scott Hall stuff in there, so I was wondering if maybe this is like Scott Hall's story with that. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't watch so. a lot of wrestling, but I do remember Razor Ramon. Oh yeah, yeah. So. toothpick. Yeah. Yo. Saw- Mom? <laughs> what about me, Nick D? That is all. Oh, well, I was saying, Filmies, you uh, was mentioning the BFG was getting released. I Steven did. Spielberg directed. I think it's time for a uh, huge Steven Spielberg retrospective. Ooh. The guy has his hands on, I mean... Everything, you know, almost. So many classics over the last, like, 50 years. So. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He's all right. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, you know, he's good, Seth. Yeah, Just he's a- all right. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I get into some of his earlier directing roles. Filmies is going to be spouting off the producing credits because you know the guy has a lot so many fucking 80s classics. Well, is there, I was thinking about this the other day, is there any, any like, filmmaker that's more famous or popular than Steven Spielberg? I mean, I don't think um, so. No, no. no. he's, he's yeah, definitely, like, the Hollywood director. Yeah, Steven Spielberg. Everyone knows who he is, yeah. you know? Well, you know, I mean, he may, uh, I'll get into it when we go through the list, but, it, like, every movie he made, like, overtopped the next one as far as, like, money-wise and popularity, you know? Yeah. Like, every time you made a movie, that's how it went, it seemed like, but... Yeah. Uh, I, we'll go ahead and start off. I guess this is like one of his more notable first movies, Duel, TV movie. I haven't seen... I've not, I've not seen Duel. I've heard about it. it. Uh, it's like a truck on the highway kind of movie thing. I know on those uh, making of Jaws documentaries, he likes to grab a lot of like uh, things from Duel and compare them to Jaws. Yeah, mm-hmm. which you know, but I, I still have yet to yet to see it. Uh, and then one of his other earlier ones, uh, the Sugarland Express with uh, yep. Goldie Hawn. Okay, I thought about picking that up. I know it's on Blue. Um, just you know, why not Spielberg? Check it out. Yeah, that's it's definitely one to own. Ones. I'm sure. Uh, but then, I mean, you know, from there, it's just like, wow. We go to 1975, and uh, 
we wow. uh, we go <laughs> we go Jaws, baby. Jaws. I know. Jaws. We, I think we talked about it a few weeks ago, but I mean, fuck, dude. I watched this movie account. You pretty, know, pretty perfect. That's, you know, I mean, fuck. Here we are, 2016. You know, in a movie from 75 is still as effective. Mm. You know, still is exciting you know you're 41 years old i mean come on man dude That's crazy that shot where uh you know ray schneider the boat's sinking and like, Sh- the yeah, shot yeah, comes yeah. through the fucking window yeah. that's terrifying as fuck still it's a it's actually Roy schneider there's no end in there but <laughs> of course <laughs> Roy schneider but in, i mean <laughs> that movie that movie coined the term blockbuster yeah definitely did man i mean it blows my mind and i think it every time i watch jaws but a fucking animatronic shark it's so that's so old, you, you know. It, you, it's still more terrifying when that thing pops out of the water than a computer shark. Yeah, and the fact that they shot it like in the ocean, yeah, and threw right. a fucking piece of equipment in the ocean, like, yeah. Just, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, yes, you can, you know, when you watch that, you could tell it's an animatronic, but that still to me is more effective than a, a fake computer generated, you know, image. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys seen those Sharknado movies? I'm just curious. I know no, them. I, I saw never, the first one. I know that's them. CG as fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean, um, God, Jaws is just like the ultimate package, man. It's great storytelling, great acting. I mean, fucking I, Robert Shaw, come on, man. I, yeah, I was going to say uh, that Indianapolis speech, like, yeah. I would put that in, like, my top five scenes or whatever. You Arguably, know, like, you know, we've talked about it before, like, biggest snubs, like, in terms of Oscars and not getting nominated and shit, but Robert Shaw, Jaws. I mean, yep. come on, man. Fuck. Yep. That's a, a legendary, amazing performance. And you guys know about that whole, like, the Indianapolis speech, how it was, like, uh, not, it was classified when they, you know, yeah. filmed it or whatever? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's just really fucked up, you know? Like, pe- yeah, people are... didn't know about that. Like, people who lost family members didn't know what happened to them. Yeah, um, those are those are two, uh, like, making of documentaries that I've actually sat through, you know, on the Blu-ray. A lot of times I won't bother, but, like, for a movie like Jaws, you know, if you have that Blu-ray, definitely sit through those docs on there. Yeah, they're really fucking solid. Did you sit through the, uh, is Shark Still Working one? Yeah, or? yeah, I watched them both, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, what else can you say about Jaws? Fucking amazing. Still, to this day, and it fucked me up as a kid, you know, we used to take trips to Florida, you know, go to the beach. Mm-hmm. Um on the panhandle and I mean I would get in the water but even as a kid that movie was constantly in my mind when my legs are fucking floating around you know in the ocean <laughs> still to this day and I get in open water like that fuck crazy you up. yeah uh, and then 1977 I think this movie is really underrated for Spielberg uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind yes it's my, yeah. uh, my favorite uh, science fiction film right there it, it's like a fucking masterpiece. Oh, it is. Guys. Like I, I don't hear anyone ever talk about it though. Yeah, I agree. Criminally underrated and fucking amazing, you know. And you know, like, like seeing Richard Dreyfuss in this, it made me sad that I didn't. I haven't seen him in more movies where he was like the main guy. Yeah, yeah, you know he's, I mean? he's fantastic. Now, that's a really nice Blu-ray set too. That's always really cheap, but it's yep. kind of loaded. Yeah, you know, it has a ton. It has three cuts of the film, and yeah, yeah. No, I mean, really solid movie though. Uh, I mean, I mean, tons of Truffaut. If you've seen uh, like Super 8, totally ripping off from that film, yeah. like yeah, in yeah. tons of ways. But. That whole third act, you know, when they're sitting with the, you know, making contact with the thing, when that fucking alien comes walking out of the spaceship, I mean, goosebumps, bro, just thinking oh, about yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is so fucking like, sometimes, you know, movies when they try and show, you know, like extraterrestrials or shit, it just is like, oh, really? That's so fucking yeah. lame. Yeah. But that movie is like, it, it like teeters on the fine line of being fucking like, creepy and like how you would picture it you know yep. yeah amazing yeah and that iconic scene of uh barry the little boy getting fucking abducted yeah. oh god yep. with uh the mom from christmas story melinda yeah. dillon melinda dillon friend. yep no uh re- extremely solid movie i think uh i don't think enough people have really checked that one out probably that uh truly is an m-word in uh my eyes definitely you know need to watch that if you haven't seen it uh, this one I think was actually a flop when it was released. I haven't seen it. Uh, 1941 comedy, oh, Dan Aykroyd yeah. and uh, John Belushi. I don't think Good that cast. one did too well. Yeah, it's uh, about Pearl Harbor, like a comedy about it though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that works. Yeah, Stephen, uh, what were you thinking? Sorry, buddy. Sc- screenplay by uh, Zemeckis and Bob Gale. 
wrote Fuck, man. Back to the Future. Damn, check that out. Yeah, you know, they uh, can't all be hits, right? <laughs> uh, this next one, though, I actually haven't seen, but I know it's fucking beloved all over the world. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh yeah, classic. Yep. Yeah, um, not, not my favorite of the trilogy, but solid. mine either. But it is, um, you know, look what it, it sets spawned. it up. I mean, yeah, no, exactly. It sets it up. I just Major lost franchise. a uh, lost yeah. a bid on the box set on eBay. Really? That yeah. one was always an expensive as shit one. I uh, I bid twenty five. It went for twenty six. So fuck my life. Yeah, those are you know I just watched those for the first time probably I don't know a couple of years ago. Got that set and I just kind of went through them. But mm-hmm. yeah, they're fucking good, man. They're, they're I enjoy them. That's, I mean, yeah. that's my thing. I've just been holding out till I get that box set so I can yeah. uh, run through them real quick. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Uh, then you go on to my favorite Spielberg movie, E.T. The Extraterrestrial. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, right, what can right. you say about E.T.? I mean. God, it's it's amazing like when you lay this shit out like this in all these fucking big movies yeah, these right. guys, it's just like what yeah. the fuck I mean like Jaws, epic movie after yeah, epic movie encounters Indiana Jones E.T. fucking I, fuck I don't know I can't tell you what it is about that movie but every time I watch it dude fucking tears oh yeah that's the music I, I mean same here yeah. yeah yeah I think I think the music has a lot to do with uh, why I cry yeah that um <laughs> I don't know, man. It's kind of like, yeah, that movie does something. It's it's well, kind of like a lot of, in a, way. A lot of underlying know? messages. Like the kid, you know, the kid's dad left him pretty much, you know, for his yeah. other wife or whatever, and he's just he's just trying to find a friend. Yeah, I don't well, know. I mean, it's a kid losing his best friend. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's just like it's basically like an outcast with an outcast is like you know a good way to put it, I guess. All right. Yeah. It's um something else, man. Uh, again, you know, an M word, without a yeah. doubt. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be Makes a lot of them. watch it. I haven't <laughs> watched it in a while. Yep. Uh, and then I guess uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the Twilight Zone movie. I guess he was a contributed contributing yeah. director with a few others on there. That. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know a whole lot about that. Um, then 1984, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. My That's personal my favorite. favorite. Of the, yeah. Yep, the Indiana Jones series. Um, a, a touch darker than. The, yeah. uh, the rest of them, a little bit, yeah. Enslaved laboring kids, yeah. And, and you got data from the Goonies. How can you know? Short <laughs> round, great short character. round. Mr. Jones, yeah, fucking <laughs> classic. I haven't seen it, but I know that shit. Um, yeah, 80, 1985, uh Whoopi Goldberg wins an Oscar for The Color Purple. <laughs> haven't uh, seen it. I have not seen it. Yeah, I, haven't, I feel uh, like yeah. that. I feel like that would be a tough one to get through. <laughs> oh, are you racist or something? Jeez, no, filming? it just seems like it's that Jesus. kind of material, the depressing, hmm. kind of boring material. for you. Well, uh, yeah. you know they they must have been having an Oscars so white situation around that time too, because it was nominated for eleven Oscars. Wow, wow. but they never, never get any, it. right? <laughs> but you know, Whoopi Goldberg won an Oscar, so you know anything could happen. Hey, you know what else she won an Oscar for? <laughs> what cock ghost? Ghost. She did not win an Oscar for Ghost. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Fuck, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yeah. Ghost. That's a great film. Mm-hmm. You always shit on it, but see, it, it's, <laughs> it's 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 the business. Yeah. So she went from Ghost to Sister Act. It's probably Makes like sense. a it's probably like a backdraft thing where you yeah, love it, like but a, it's not. Oh, you, it's you kidding me? Lost Ghost, Ghost is good. Months? Ghost is good. Great. Uh, Way better than whack draft. Well, I'm, I know no whack draft. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Ass. Uh, 1987, Empire of the Sun. I know it has a did you book on Blu-ray. Christian Bale? Yeah, I never, never seen it yet. Oh, Christian Bale, that's, that's why I haven't watched it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a young Christian Bale, 1987. Though, you so kids? he's probably, like, you know, 13, 10? 14 years old. Oh. What is that about? Is still uh, an asshole? It is about a young English boy struggling to survive under Japanese occupation during World War II. <sighs> Sounds boring. I like, I like the. <laughs> what are you I like racist? The Spielberg flicks with sharks and dinosaurs and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are you anti-war? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you hate what the about Japanese? Yeah, I am. <laughs> India Jones and the Last Crusade, nineteen eighty-nine. Yep. Another solid one, John Connery. Hey, R- Which River one has? Oh, okay, that's what I was asking. River yep. Phoenix. I knew he was in one of those. Yep. Always a young indie. Always love River. Probably my least favorite yeah. of the uh, of the bunch. Well. I, I like it. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf one, but you know the original three. Uh, one that I've actually never heard of, didn't know Spielberg directed. It's called Always. Richard Dreyfus, Holly oh. Hunter, Brad Johnson. 
Hmm. It's a uh, Roma romance romance. <laughs> Roma. Brad Johnson from Comic Book Man. Spielberg and a no man. No, no Brad Johnson. Are you? Oh, it's it? Brian. It's a Brian. My bad. <laughs> You're good. But then uh, I know this next one was a flucking flop. Flucking. <laughs> flucking flop. Flucking. <laughs> Hook. Oh, I like Hook. I didn't know he did that. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love Hook. Yeah, well, isn't that? Oh, but that's it, probably my backdraft. So there you, you go. You know, everyone talks Matt Show on this. Looking at it here, nominated for five Oscars. It's good. That was nominated for five Oscars. Probably like right. special effects and makeup yeah, and yeah, costumes. Rich, original song and all uh, you know, technical uh, bullshit. Hmm. Yeah, I've never actually seen it though. Uh, Rufio, man. Oh, not my favorite. Great Bob Hoskins film. Not. Yeah. What about 1993 Jurassic Park? Oh, oh yeah. This is here we go. Um, this is a story of a girl. One of my favorite films. Top top five. Number two, if anyone needs to know. But why? It's changed the technologically the landscape, man. Changed cinema, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it really did. It changed, you know, the way special effects are incorporated. What was the company that he had? It was actually company. Industrial Light and Magic yeah. that did it. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot the guy's name. Great Wikipedia Sorry. narration. Um, just fucking mind blowing, man. You know when you first watch that movie, you know that the part when they first see the dinosaur, and I mean that's just like, you know, I, I was just a little kid at the time, but can you imagine like seeing that, you know, for the first time? There's never been anything like that, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, it, it still looks so real every time. You know, if you want to watch it, it yeah. it puts anything today like in to shame. That's yeah. what blows my mind, you know. It, it fucking holds up. I mean, that's old ass CGI. Twenty three year old CGI still fucking looks good. Great movies know. do. Yeah, and you of know, course the animatronic T Rex, frightening. You know, yeah, right in line with Jaws. I mean, they just did it. They did it so right. I know? feel like that scene, you know, in the rain is so iconic. With oh yeah. Flip yeah. The sheep. I mean, I just, you know, for like film in general, it was like a huge step. Yep. No I, one had seen that. I fucking love that movie, man. So good. Did you guys hear the story about when I put on the night vision goggles? <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard it. I, I have. Let's hear it. One more time. Back when that movie came out, there was a display at Museum of Science Industry in Chicago. They had some of the props on display. Got to uh, put Timmy's night vision goggles on my head. They didn't work. They were not functioning. Just an on-screen item, but pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's that, that, wow, that, 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 neat. Yeah. Uh, well, that same year, while uh, I think Jurassic Park was actually in post production, he was working on Schindler's List in oh, Poland. There's a uh, comedy classic. <laughs> <laughs> positive uplifting. What do you hate, Juice? Film. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one-time watch for me. It's a boring movie. No, you know it's it is movie. phenomenal, but yeah, it's not something you pop in every year. No, it's uh, a little depressing. Yeah. Do you guys it's have more, a lot it's to more say? more of like uh, informative. It's an informative movie, but not a rewatchable movie. Do you guys got a lot to say about Schindler's List or? No, not really. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. That's Good Blu ray release. Yeah. Great, uh, great Blu ray packaging. But the, this next one, 1997, God, I, my mind's blown that Spielberg directed this. Jurassic Park, The Lost World. This oh, yeah. is. The, you know, I haven't seen some of these movies, but. This is uh, the redheaded stepchild of the bunch because yeah. the Lost World is fucking butt. I think that was I think that was a studio decision. With yeah, like, just you know, you know. Yeah, but yeah, at that you point, you think they back. weren't going to give Steven Spielberg his freedoms? I, well, look at it though. Does that know. look like Spielberg? Everybody makes Dude, mistakes. I've tried. I I've, tried to, I've tried to sit to that movie. You know, I mean, like I was thinking, okay, maybe this time it'll click for me because there are, there are guys that really like the second Jurassic Park movie, but mm -hmm. man. Doesn't it doesn't work? For yeah, me. I like the concept of, of the dinosaur getting off the island and going to you know. Yeah, it's just city. stupid. Like the fucking, he's drinking out of a swimming pool and kid looks out of his window. It's like, yeah. come, really? Come on. Yeah. yeah, Jeff Goldblum's daughter's fucking Gabby Douglas. Yeah, she's fucking doing gymnast. Fucking gymnast. Yeah, yeah that's making and shit. Oh, yeah. Vince Vaughn puke. Since since when can a nine year old fucking <laughs> kick a fucking what was it a raptor? Raptor. Or yeah. Yeah. Prehistoric beast, yeah, meant to kill. It wouldn't it happen. Performance. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, Red Bush. You know. Yeah. You know. I. I don't know. It's not for me. I'd much rather watch uh, Jurassic Park three, but I know that's yeah. not the popular opinion. 
Uh, right. That same year, he did Amistad. Not a fan, or uh, I actually haven't seen it, but it looks it? boring as fuck. One time watch again. Good movie, but yeah. Which one? What is that about? Slave? Um, yeah, that's about uh, an 1839 immunity aboard a slave ship that is traveling. <laughs> okay, I had to watch that. You film. heard it. Oh, no sharks. Uh, Matt, no sharks. Matt no McConaughey. Sharks. No sharks. Okay. And then going on to a, a lot of people's favorite war movie of all time, Saving <gasps> Private Ryan. <gasps> yep. Uh, again. You know, just when you think, oh, we're we're out of the masterpiece territory, they get hit oh. with another one, man. Yeah, because yep. it's something else. It's amazing. I think he cha- he changed it too, like the way cinema does war. Realistically, like yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean that. Yeah, Band of Brothers and all that stuff after you know, like, like that quick. That opening shot to, or the opening scene, or uh, you know that long the Normandy scene. I mean, yeah. it's so like, iconic like, and huge. Like you know, it's just never been done like that. You know. Just, Sitting in the theater, like that just happens right away in the movie. It's not building up to a big, you know, finale. That's just yep. what you're hit with at the beginning. Or just like imagine being a, a veteran watching that. Right. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just, great, man. The CG for Why that isn't that on great. your list? Because <laughs> uh, I like a few mo- movies a bit more. Well, cool. You know. <laughs> but and then 2001 we got AI artificial intelligence oh. with Haley Joel. Never seen it. So fucking long. I got the Blu-ray. I know it was originally uh, supposed to be a Stanley Kubrick movie. Yeah, it would yeah, have been better as a Kubrick film. I think he was trying to be like Kubrick. It just didn't work. Never got past the uh, scouting. <laughs> it's got the longest ending ever. But yeah, Longer no, than uh, Return of the King. It's it's pretty close to that. <laughs> It's like fade to black, fade to black. Another one of my favorites, 2002, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks, Catch Me If You Can. So, so you good. Can. I think this movie is criminally underrated. I feel like all, people haven't seen it, but I, you yeah, think yeah, it yeah. would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. I mean, it great. Hanks, DiCaprio, why hasn't Super. everyone seen that? I hadn't seen it until, you know, two, three years ago. It's fucking great. Yeah, same here. I mean, uh, super rewatchable. Yeah. I mean, you know, how is it? Hey, Leo, Tom Hanks, and Spielberg, like, gonna be yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that should be seen by everyone, you know? And it's yeah. fucking great, man. It really is. Oh, yeah, that's a really solid movie. His uh, his next one, I wasn't a fan of myself, Minority Report. I haven't seen right. it. I sold the Tom blue. Cruise guy. Is that Tom Cruise? Yeah. Yeah. Big Tom Cruise guy. That's all right. Did he write that? Like, was it original thing? Uh, who uh, Spielberg? I mean, or was it like based on a book or something? Uh, yeah, no, that was uh, oh. it was based on like a short story or something. But okay. I, I thought it was really fucking lame. Didn't like it. Uh, got it from an idiot. Didn't care for it. Uh, got it from an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what idiot sent you that. Yeah. <laughs> Peeing in jars. Have you guys seen uh the <laughs> terminal? That Blu-ray. No, keep going. So <laughs> the, the terminal, two thousand four. Another Tom Hanks flick. You know, no, I never watched it. Uh, one that you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks doing For a doing, <laughs> bad ass. It's Tom Hanks doing like a Russian accent in that movie. I haven't watched it, man. I like airports though, so you check that out. <laughs> Airport guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I've always needed to check that out. I never see the Blu-ray like anywhere to buy or anything really. Only online. Um, what about War of the Worlds? War of the Worlds. I like that one. I didn't. I didn't like it. I saw it in the theater. It's a no, remake, Tom right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Orson Welles. Enough with the Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tim Robbins. More? Fat is fat in there. Of the worlds. Dakota Fanning. <laughs> yeah, haven't seen it. Uh, don't care to. What about Munich with Eric Bana? <laughs> that's I another, see that, that's another one-time watch. Uh, uh, all I know about Munich is the line from Knocked Up. Yeah. Where they're like, Eric Bana Munich was, turns it on his ass. Yeah, it turns it on his ass. <laughs> I don't know that one. You wouldn't. No. <laughs> but uh, they just talk about how he's a great fucking Jewish uh, hitman, or I don't know what the fuck it is, but who cares? Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crimson Skull. <laughs> now, I got to defend this movie a little bit. Maybe it's because I watched them all back to back for the first time a few years ago, but I didn't huh. think, I mean, I thought it was fine. Yeah, I don't okay. know. Uh, Shia LaBeouf, good in it, or, I mean, what is, yeah, is he fine. like? Who the fuck is, is he? Is he like his son or something? 
Yeah. I don't even remember. No, yeah, he's, he's not his son. son. Oh, I loved it. It was so great. Oh, I don't even remember. <laughs> I've only seen him one time. I mean, it was fine. I've only seen him all one yeah, time. Yeah, he's, he's the son of, of, of what's her name? Marion and uh, him from oh, the beginning. Kid? Yeah. The chick from Animal House. Sure about, cor- correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. It's a, it, it's solid, though. It's a little bit more far-fetched than the other ones. I think that's one of the, the gripes with it, but who cares? They're all far-fetched. The guy running around that's swinging true. a whip like yeah. a treasure. No, exactly. Yeah, I agree. That doesn't happen. I didn't like the ant thing, the whole fucking, you know, ant hill shit, but whatever. I mean, shit, I'll go watch the fifth one. I like the alien part. Yeah, that was that was cool, man. Whatever. I peep it. I peep it. No hate needed. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull fuck. <laughs> uh, and That's... then you go to 2011, The Adventures of Tin. 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 <laughs> that was okay. It looks was really, it? really good for animation. Yeah, I don't know much about that one, actually. Filmy's like, get to War Horse. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> yeah. The 2011 Filmy's Nick Masterpiece, War Horse. <laughs> Didn't say it was a masterpiece, just said it was underrated. It's a War Horse, I can't take it anymore. God, it's not we're, a horse. we're jerking off to it on what we watched that one time, I thought. <laughs> I just, I just like it. <laughs> it's like yeah. Wiener Dog with a horse. Uh, oh, man. No, what did, what did you say? He like... You were going real into detail. Fuck like, if I remember. You guys seem to remember loses. everything I say. <laughs> he loses his horse, and he's, like, looking for him. And... I don't remember what you said. Oh, yeah, about. yeah. He loses his horse, and the horse has many different owners. <laughs> and then <laughs> eventually they find their way back to each other. It's a great <laughs> sci-fi film. <laughs> <laughs> it's a documentary. <laughs> yeah, if you guys didn't know, uh, Filmies likes wars. He's a big yeah. war horse guy. I, I, I'm, you guys made a bigger deal than I did, so I don't. <laughs> but twenty plus in your balls. Twenty twelve, Lincoln. God, oh. I don't think I finished that one. It's boring as fuck. Cure for insomnia. Well, I think around this time <laughs> Wait, who, was. Who saw it? Anyone see it? Yeah, I've seen it. Started oh, watching it. Made about they, ten minutes in. Fucking. Do they show him die? Mm, I don't. I mean, it's. I think that's like uh towards the end. Like it kind of. Obviously, it's towards the end. <laughs> I'm saying, do they show it? Because that would be like the only payoff that I would. I don't think they actually show it like that. No. Fuck. What a whack movie! It's, it's, yeah, this is around Steven Spielberg's like historical boring phase. I know. I hate I like this phase, man. Do you guys remember when that was uh, announced? Though, like Daniel Day, like it was announced like two years in advance. Daniel Day Lewis was like going in character full time. Yeah, I do remember that, man. Or whatever, you know. Yeah, he did win the Oscar though. You know, he he always does if he fucking comes out of hiding. But uh, sometimes, like I, you know, I feel there there'll be a time when I'm in the mood for some shit like that, and I'll fucking finally watch it. But it wasn't happening the first time I tried. Yeah, and it, I mean, it wasn't even like a biopic. It was more so just about you know, right when he like ended, you know, he's, sleep. Yeah, he's just trying to pass the amendment. That's that's better it. for an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, what about this one, Seth? I know you. You know, caught some Z's while watching it. 2015's Bridge of Spies. Uh, I, I gotta try this one again because, again, it's fucking Spielberg, Tom Hanks. Why wouldn't it be great? But just yeah. some boring context, boring subject matter. It's like, come on. I'm not into that shit. Yep. Less boring just, than Lincoln. It, I'll say that. Yeah, I, I will give you that. Yeah. And just, you know what? I, I, I liked that when I started watching. Like, I was into it for a little bit, but then it just lost me somewhere. Too many courtroom scenes. That's the worst thing you could put in a movie is a long courtroom scene. Yep. No, I still... I, I would probably check it out. Tom Hanks, Spielberg, why not? Yeah. It, yeah. All I've, all I've heard about it is what you've said, so... Yeah, and I know a lot of people like it, but like Filmy said, it's this Spielberg, um, like, you know, historical, boring, boring phase, I guess. Design. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully he's getting back to the kid John wrote this yeah. BFG. What what do you got for fucking producing credits? Oh, I've got a lot. So yeah. I'll, I'll try to bust. I'll powerhouse through these as quick as I can. So he only, he only had uh, four things he produced before he got to the big stuff. Uh, Escape to Nowhere, which is like a short film he did when he was really young back in 1961. Uh, I Want to Hold Your Hand, which is Robert Zemeckis' film about I wanted to see that actually. Yeah, it sounds interesting because it's about going to a Beatles concert. Um, oh, boy. Blah, blah, blah. I want to hold your hand. <laughs> I want to go. It's actually, uh, I think it's actually about like seeing the Beatles on Ed Sullivan for the first time like yeah. at the show. Oh. Terry <laughs> Malick and the Beatles. <laughs> um, uh, a couple things used cars and Continental Divide. 
Okay, read the good ones. Okay, yeah, I'm getting <laughs> to the good ones. Fuck. It's all fluff, bro. It's not talk about I, I, divide. I, I know your mic's about to go out, but I'll, I'll get to them. Oh, okay, right. 1982 was when he started the big stuff, E.T. And then the very same year, Poltergeist. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, okay. which uh, you know, a lot of people debate whether he really directed that one or not. Some people say he actually did. Um, next is 1983, The Twilight Zone, the movie, and then 1984, Gremlins. Classic. Okay. I was, so let's go to 93, but... back to 84. No, I said 83 to 84. Okay. Okay. And then uh, 1985, The Goonies. Ooh. Ooh. Same year, Back to the Future. I, you know, oh. I re- after rewatching E.T., I like, I just feel that Goonies vibe so much. Yeah. You know what I mean? The mm-hmm. filming style kind of. Well, just like the wood shit, like where they're f- the flying the bikes yeah. and, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you, brother. Glad. <laughs> and then uh, 1985, the color purple, and then the next year, the money pit. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, you skimmed over. You barely said it. Back to the Future. Fuck. Well, I said it. Without, it's up to you without guys. Him, to... Uh, without him, that fucking shit wouldn't have even got made. True. Yeah. You know? Zemeckis at the time was like a nobody, practically. Well, yeah, and then they had the casting shit go on with Stoltz and... Oh, yeah. I fucking, I, you know, I'm a huge Back to the Future guy staring at a 24 by 36 right now, so... 36. Yeah, <laughs> 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 and then uh 1987 uh we've got harry and the hendersons i know that's kind of bigger Don't look classic, but, but classic. Um, doesn't hold up yeah it didn't hold up it's for not. me he had a, a shitload of producing credits in 87 inner space three o'clock high but then there's empire of the sun and then one i've seen a lot of recently batteries not included Oh, yeah, that recently got a Blu-ray release, I think. I don't know a whole lot about it, though. Um, it's like a typical 80s flick. A couple in 1988, uh, 1988, Who Framed Roger Rabbit and The Land Before Time. Ooh. Ooh. Um, 1989. Back- about that tummy trouble. <laughs> 1989, tummy Back to the Future Part 2. Uh, 1990, we have, oh, my God, a lot. Joe vs. the Volcano, Akira Kurosawa's Dreams. Oh, I've heard of that. Back uh, to the Future yeah, Part 3. Uh, Gremlins 2, Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia is a fucking un- underrated flick. I love that movie. I almost Just bought it on Disney Movie Club once. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fucking good. Um, 1991, got the Criterion, A Brief History of Time. And then we have Cape Fear. I didn't know he did that yeah. one. Tell me oh. that Casper's coming up. Does he have a credit on that? Uh, not that I see. Nope. Oh God, I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. Ninety-five, yeah. executive producer. Yeah. Oh well, I haven't gotten that far. I'm still way down here. Oh, what? Is there? Well, oh, keep going. Keep going. Um, Tiny Toon Adventures. Uh, what, what, okay, what? name some of the good stuff. <laughs> I'm just. Dude, you don't. Uh, you can. 1993. <laughs> we've got Schindler's List. Todd uh, Nell Drift, he, 1982. Yeah, oh, yeah. The other he, ones that he hasn't directed. Yeah, either. stop naming the ones he's directed. Fuck. <laughs> Here we go. The Flintstones. Is that good enough for you guys? Fuck you. 1995, hey, we have Casper. Hey, that's a great Rick Moranis performance. Why are you skimming that? John Goodman, Rick Moranis, so it's Dream Team. <laughs> and his producer credit showed Steven Spielrock. What is that? It does. Yeah, it's Steven sense. Spielrock. <laughs> He's fucking funny. Uh, (laughs) He's witty. (laughs) Oh my god! And then 1995, we have Kithber. You don't? Oh yeah. No, I like it, but fuck. You just skip. You like it or you love it? Skip over Kithber. God, you still remember that? (laughs) (laughs) What? Keep going. Keep going. Uh, 1996, Twister. You know who did that one? 97, Men in Black, which started a trilogy. Uh, I hate those fucking movies. 98, yeah. <laughs> Deep Impact. <laughs> also, Mask of Zorro. Oh, God. Oh, God, he did some shit. All the same year he shit. did Saving Private Ryan. God, he really went downhill in the producing as well. <laughs> yeah, he um, paid a lot of shit. Nobody remembers the producer, though. Right. Well, so, I do for some movies. 
I guess. <laughs> it's on, on like Back to the Future, everywhere you see it, Steven Spielberg presents. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. You ain't going to remember the producer on Flintstones, though. No, no. Um, now I do. Spiel rock. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of uh, animated TV shows I think a lot of people might like. Pinky and the Brain and Animaniacs. Ooh, those yeah, were, anything Warner Brothers. Uh, I did not know this. 2001, Shrek. Um, hmm, okay. 2001, one of the best TV miniseries well, ever. Well, yeah, because DreamWorks, right? Anything DreamWorks you'd fucking True, yeah. would be part of. Yep. But uh, yeah, 2001, one of the best TV series ever made, Band of Brothers. Oh, Produced agreed. That with Tom Hanks. Ryan, too? Okay, yeah. I like it better than Saving Private Ryan myself. <laughs> Why are you comparing them? Because I won't do what I want. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you asking? <laughs> Always got to compare something. I like this better than that. That's better than that. Always got to cut. Quite... Okay, Dad, sit back. You just appreciate shit for what it is. Um, <sighs> a lot of crap throughout here. Uh, memoirs of a geisha fuck's sake um eagle eye with uh god i saw that movie shia labeouf yeah he's getting it <laughs> shia labeouf <laughs> shia labeouf <laughs> monsieur balouf monsieur balouf <laughs> uh, do you work on a G3? what is it what J- jurassic park 3 any credit on that yeah he's got a producer on that yeah, yeah. i skipped over that one sorry <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Continental to. Drift, but not Dress Break 3. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, 2009, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Same year he did Lovely Bones, which I like. Did you, did you say uh, Super 8? Because that's easily the best fucking one that I think he's produced in the past like 10 years. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Dude, Lovely Bones sucked ass. <laughs> uh, two, <laughs> 2010, hey, we have uh, the, uh, not sequel, but Pacific version of Band of Brothers, The Pacific. I never saw that one. It's I like good. that better. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Oh, no, no. You never even watched Band of Brothers. You watched one episode with David Schwimmer, you idiot. <laughs> it's good, not as good as uh, Band of Brothers. Sorry. Uh, same year he did True Grit, and then uh, True Shit. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that <laughs> yeah, one. I do, I do like that one. Um, yeah, in 2011 we have Super Eight. Along with uh, along with Transformers: Dark of the Moon and Cowboys and Aliens, shit well, films, and then Real yeah. Steel. Hey, Super Real Eight's Steel. fucking great. What are you talking yeah. about? Oh, I said great film for that, and then he uh, named those other two. I said shit. Super Eight Super. is like the closest fucking yep. thing that no, we've got to like a Spielberg esque movie. That, in like, effort, dude, you know, if, the ending to that when the you know the kid lets go of the locket and that music starts playing. That's right out of like fucking eighty five, man. Oh yeah, I, I fucking love that movie, dude. I yep, think it's great. great. I agree. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2014, Transformers Age of Exception. Uh, and then 2015, Jurassic World. Oh. Um, sucks. So he was the one. I <laughs> <laughs> guess um, that's why you shouldn't put too much stock into the producer. And I got no hope for Halloween anymore, John Carpenter. I know he mentioned, <laughs> exactly. uh, you know, he has a few, and uh, you know, Projects upcoming for yeah, directing. He's got, all, he's got a lot for product for producing. Well, uh, the two like main ones that are you know we know are coming. Indiana Jones Five is happening. Uh, I don't know who wants it, but Harrison <laughs> Ford's there. So old, fuck. What is he? I don't get it, man. Just give it up. Uh, one that I'm kind of really stoked about. Uh, that Ready Player One. Yeah. yeah. It sounds pretty cool, uh, and uh, it has a pretty good cast so far. So uh, I'm excited for that. Yeah, I mean, you same. can just watch Gamer with Michael C. Hall and Gerard Butler. Uh, same thing. Oh, it was directed by Spielberg? Don't think so. Uh, <laughs> that movie. That'd be better. And doing that karate film. and shit? What the yeah, that's, a good, that's a good movie. Underrated gem right there. Yep. Four out of five. I mean, what's the last thing you guys like that uh, Spielberg made, though? I mean, for me... Like that he directed? It's uh, probably like, catch me if you can. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. I mean, not not dogging on like the recent shit, but you know, like we're talking about that historical shit is just not really my cup uh, of tea. Uh, War Horse. Yeah, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I don't give a shit if you do. He. The question was, what was the last thing I liked? Oh, sorry. What was the question? Easy there, buddy. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. But no, I uh, I wish Spielberg would get back to the kid genre, which you know hopefully that's what he's doing with BFG, and hopefully it's uh you know good. I'll check out BFG. Won't be a theater trip, but I'll definitely watch it. 
Yep. Yeah. I'm hopeful. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What can you say about uh, you know, Stevie Spiel? Spiel Rock, <laughs> one of the best. Stevie yeah. Spiel. Spiel I mean, Rock. You don't get much more famous or well known than that, uh, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Household name. Thanks, yep. Steven. Favorite Spielberg film? E.T. Jurassic Jaws. Park. Saving Private Ryan. There we go. We each got a different pick. That's that's how wide and expansive the Steven Spielberg filmography is. There's something yeah, for everybody. Is, yeah, I mean, yeah. fuck. You know, a lot a lot of guys are lucky to make one masterpiece in their career, let alone a fucking handful. That's kind of unheard of. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good job, Steven. But hey, yep. Steven. Thanks, Steven. Come on the show anytime you want, brother. Appreciate it. <laughs> we just need to tweet him out. <laughs> uh, something new I've been wanting to try on the podcast, uh, a new kind of segment that I'm calling Have You Seen It, where we uh, break down IMDb's top 250 films. Yeah. We'll do like uh, 10 at a time, you know, just every once in a while on the show. These kinda are, uh, through them. This list is generated by, by what, like highest average user uh, rating? Yeah, it's user rating on IMDb, yeah. so, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's pretty much like that's why Shawshank is fucking number one because it was sure. played on TV a million fucking yeah. times and everyone's seen it, you know. I've seen yeah. it, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna kick it off with uh, two fifty through two forty one. So okay, I'm guessing we haven't seen quite a hand, quite a bit of these, but you know, we can <laughs> yeah, try. I, I think I went through this list and I've probably seen about half of what's on this list. We'll, we'll start getting to uh, okay. okay as we make our way through. Oh yeah, no, the the first one it's gonna be kind of hard to get through, but let's do it with. Number 250. <clears throat> uh, it's called Gangs of uh, Wasi Appear. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> it's uh, five, <laughs> five hours and 20 minutes, and it's from 2012. Oh, my yeah, God. I'll probably I'll never out. watch that one. What's it yeah. about? It kind of sounds If it's that good, you know. Uh, God, this is going to be hard to read. A clash between Sultan and Shahid Khan. Okay, I've heard of. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, that sounds about five let's and a half. At least, <laughs> let's at least get the country. It's uh, it's from <laughs> India. So. Oh. I only like uh, <laughs> Slumdog. Uh, but it's the very, it's the very last great movie one. called The Namesake from India with Cal Penn. Check it out. Oh, God, God. That stupid DVD it, you it's got. A, it's a great, great film called uh, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle with Cal Penn. Check it out. Great, great <laughs> film. I love Cal Penn. Makes sense. Ben Wilder. Ben Wilder. <laughs> it was Taj Mahal. Taj. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's number 250, Gangs of Wasia Per, 2012. Okay. God. Never heard of it or seen it, so Never why, is, uh, why is it on the list? I would like to know, but at uh, number t- 249, In the Mood of Love, 2000, another foreign flick. You seen it, mm-hmm. Filmies? No, I haven't seen that one. Me either. Right. Uh, it's a Jap film, uh, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> Japanese film? The Japs are here! Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's from 2000, though. Interesting, interesting. And then uh, number 248, Lagan, Once Upon a Time in India. God. God. Well, they have so many Indians in this world, you know, I'm sure they go in there and read them. I know. Yeah, well, okay, okay. (laughs) I think think some of you guys have seen this one. Number 247, Beauty and the Beast. Okay, I've seen that one. That one's fucking amazing. You know what? It's kind of as relevant at the time. You know that new trailer for the live action one. You know coming out at some point that movie, and then the Blu Ray is coming back out like out of the vault, I guess. I okay. Think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Which I, I'm definitely going to grab with my um, Disney Movie Club. You know, to fill a commitment because I always wanted that Blu Ray, but you can't fucking get it anymore. It's sky high in price, but yeah. that's that's one of my favorites. You know, you're talking those. You know the bro. It's going back it, in the vault, bro. It did. That is the essential part of the Renaissance, so, bro. It's so weird how Disney does that, though. You know, they always throw movies back. Like, yeah. it's weird. I don't know how yeah. to get it, but so I, I was, I was excited version. to see that one's coming out again. But that, that really is a fucking, it's a damn <laughs> good great. film. Yeah, you know? it is. I haven't seen that since I was a kid, so I'm, uh, I'm excited to check that one out again. But yeah, all it's, right, it's classic. So yeah. we've all seen one so far. This is good. Well, I haven't seen it, so uh, I've seen <laughs> okay, one. Okay, all right. But, not a big uh, animation guy over there. No, not at all. Yeah. But uh, two forty six. Yeah, I should probably. I, I'm a. I, I suck. Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred forty-six. <laughs> High noon. Uh, I don't know if you guys Jack seen Chan? it. No, nineteen fifty-two. Is that the western? Yeah, oh, a western with Gary Cooper. I see that Shanghai noon. Oh, with oh, Owen Wilson. My. That's a classic. <laughs> Just stay away from Shanghai Nights. Good Fuck God. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, didn't hey, make the list. Hey, Shanghai. You know when they pee? <laughs> pee on ba. You know, good fucking movie. 
Did you see it, Filmies? You see High Noon? I know you're a big Western fan. No, I haven't. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen that yep. one. Doing Instagrams of the, uh, is it the Outsiders? The Searchers. What is it called? Searchers. Ooh, I've wanted to see that. You need to check it out. Uh, number 245. Akira Arasawa's yeah. Throne of Blood. Mm. I haven't seen it yet. Is that you one know, Criterion? I need to. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I need uh-huh. to um, get into his filmography. Like, that's it's like an essential. Well, you're getting one, buddy. You're getting one. Yeah. Th- no, no, I'm not. Am I? Oh, I am. Yeah. Check yeah. that yeah. out. I want to check that Cute. one out, too. Ikaru. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, all I've seen from him is uh, Seven Samurai. You know, you got to figure there's a reason. Like every one of his movies is part of the Criterion Collection. You know. Oh yeah, I mean that's like all those directors coming up in the '70s: Spielberg, yeah. Coppola, yeah. uh, Scorsese. All look, you know, yeah. they're, they're idol- they idolized, you know, I, I, It seemed like a, some of our uh, Rashomon that was really good, but I just I, something came up and never got to finish it. So got to get into that. Snowblood or whatever, right? That one's supposed to be like Kill Bill. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then 244, directed by, oh, Billy Wilder. Ooh. Okay. Roman Holiday. That oh, one I haven't it? seen it yet. Roman that, Holiday? Oh, that one's on Netflix. With, uh, it's in my name? queue. Yeah. Oh, that's on Netflix. That was Cary Grant, right? Cary Grant? Yeah. And Audrey? Pick yeah, that for the first time watch. Oh, I've always wanted to check yeah, it out. Yeah, if it's on Netflix, I'm down. Yeah, cool. But yeah, no, yeah. Uh, it's Aubrey Hepburn, Hadi, Gregory Peck. Did you say Aubrey Hepburn? Audrey? It's Audrey. Oh. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza? <laughs> Awkward Plaza. I'm not too familiar with classic Hollywood names. He just but... watched Dirty Grandpa, so he's thinking about Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, bud. Thanks for saving me. No problem. I got you, Pam. <laughs> Roman Holiday, I can't wait to check it the fuck out. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza. Uh, Aubrey Hepburn. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza Hepburn? With uh, Aubrey <laughs> Plaza and Hugh Grant. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, 243, the King speech. <laughs> really? I, I, like, I like that one. Never, Never seen watched it. that. I hear it's good. It's not as boring as the title would suggest. That's but what I heard too, yeah. Oh. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, one best picture. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. <sighs> I remember somebody cool. liking it. I was never uh, going to check it out, though. Yeah. Probably yeah, Philomena. That's like another one that, like. Ugh. This scene is so lame. <laughs> Play that at <my> work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, it's movie night. There you go. It's, it's <laughs> just fucking time. played that movie with you, that lady in the van. I love that van. You, you, you fit it great there, Phil. I would. Uh, <laughs> at number 242, Studio Ghibli film Castle in the Sky. Oh, okay. See, that's. Of course, the one I don't have, but that's, James uh, Vanderbeek voice is a character. Yeah. <laughs> Seth is I'm rock hard. This is, says it's from 1986. James Vanderbeek was around then. Fuck. Oh, the, no, um, he did the are, dubbing. Yeah, they redo it. Like, uh, for okay, yeah, I got you. There's one of the um, Nausicaa has a Shia LaBeouf's voice. There's there's a lot of big time actors that have done the English voiceovers for those Ghibli films. Nope. But yeah, no. Yeah, that's, uh, that's I've yet great. to see any of the Ghibli ones, but yeah, I've, Castle in the Sky. I've heard it's one of the one of the better ones. I think. Yeah, you got got to watch some of those, man. The Miyazaki's, but you could skip some of the other ones. But I, those Miyazaki's. Whew. I do own a Spirited Away. Is that him? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Have to check that one out. Uh, and then the last one on our ten today <laughs> yes. uh, is uh, number two hundred forty-one. A Fistful of Dollars. Sergio Leone. Ooh, yeah. Another one I haven't seen. It's a good one. Uh, oh, actually, I have seen this. I've seen this. <laughs> I can talk about it. Shit. Hey, this one's actually pretty solid. I, I thought, you know, this is the first one in the trilogy. I the think family, the, the yeah, name trilogy. Yeah, I think the whole trilogy is solid. This is the only one I've watched out of them, and uh, I mean, I thought it was, you know, really great. <laughs> that that final shootout, you know, the standoff or whatever. Spoilers. Like the cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> but, great. No, you really, didn't know there were shootouts in a western. <laughs> Damn it. God damn, you guys suck. But the fucking cinematography in this was amazing. <laughs> the fucking cinematography. <laughs> it was. The fucking cinematography Shit. was nice. <laughs> it was golly damn, but it good. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, no, that's it. And, uh, yeah, in, in a couple weeks well, we'll pick that's up. That's fun. Yeah, no, I yeah. had fun with it. We'll pick up with uh, 240 through 231 next time. Could cool. try, and, try and watch every movie on that list, starting with the... Five hour Saudi Arabian epic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See if I can uh, pencil that in. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a cool segment though. See you know, if we can if we've seen any of those movies, I'm sure you'll run into a batch where it's like, yep, 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 yep. 
Oh yeah. Probably toward yeah towards the middle. Uh, well, can we progress on to uh, the worst segment we've ever done? It's not the worst segment. We've just had bad. We just had bad changing luck. The title. It's not called yeah. first time watching more. It's called the scumbag movie of the week. We call That's what the fuck long. did I watch? Okay, fine. Scumbag movie of the week. <laughs> scumbag movie of the week. Filmies picked this week. What'd you pick, Filmies? Oh, Blind. God. Okay, so... That's what he picked. Yeah, I picked incestual pornography. I had no idea that's what Smut. was going on. Dogtooth. Let me tell you, I picked this movie because it was directed by the same guy that well, did The Lobster. And... I just wanted to say, yeah, before you get into it, that is so different than The Lobster. Like, you couldn't even tell it's the same guy if no, you didn't know. I, exactly. Totally different in tone and, yeah, not even similar at well, all. Yeah, and w- what I was hoping for, it would have the same, like... The same humor, you know, awkward, yeah. quirky kind of stuff. And yeah. there were, like, little hints of it, but it was so subtle that it was just – it didn't work. Okay, like when you pull comedy. that up on Hulu, like, the description says, like, a very dark humor look at a uh, family. I'm like, there's nothing funny about this. I <laughs> was laughing at all. Where's the fucking no. cop? No, there was no com- – it was, like, way too serious. Like, there was parts of – yeah. Well, we'll give a rundown real quick, you know, people listening who didn't check it out or want to know what we're talking about. Okay, so basically it's about a family and a father that keeps his kids well into their adulthood, just away from the world. He keeps them trapped in the house, in the in the yard. And uh, I, I don't know, really. It's just basically their daily lives of what they do to pass the time. And uh, yeah. they're able to leave eventually when their dog tooth falls out. I just Which don't it would never get fall it. out. <laughs> yeah, because they're, it's a, they're it's a permanent fucking tooth. Why has the guy got him locked up like that? I mean, what essentially, is- also, too, like, I was reading up on it and how, like, even though they were, you know, locked up, they ended up finding their own sexuality regardless of, you know, being told not to. Like, yeah, when he's paying you know, a hooker. Explore, they were able to explore them, explore themselves, I guess. <laughs> she wasn't even a hooker. She was just a security she guard wasn't. that worked at his, yeah. his factory. <laughs> yeah. Don't you yeah. think she would be like, what the fuck, and tell somebody what's up? I mean, that's, like, if you, that's so bizarre to walk into. I don't know. There well, was the just... Best- my yeah. favorite scene was whenever uh, she slid his arm. She just ran and yeah. did it for like whatever reason. Uh, and that the whole airplane shit where it, they, it, it he drives the car outside the <laughs> gate to grab it. I'm just like, yeah, what the fuck am I watching? That's what I, I just, thought. That I, was when you said what the, with the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like, there was some, Didn't say what the fuck when the brother was groping his naked sisters in the tub. <laughs> well, <laughs> picking which one to fuck. Which one he wanted to fuck? The sisters yeah. eating and the one out for the headband. That, oh, that was entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Big fan of blue is the warmest know, color. Yeah. She had a little back think, arch well, going, going in. Sex, huh? Was anyone a fan of that old when he has Greek sex cop? With other sister? Like, One at a time. <laughs> Hello? Greek? I was not a fan of the old Greek cock. Good, me neither. <laughs> yeah, I could have could done without that. I like how they... Um, and I think they... they cool. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I like how they led them to believe they had an ostracized brother on the other side of the wall. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah, it's, like, it's, it's a fucking unsettling it a little bit. Disturbing. No, I didn't find it funny I'm at all. Just, yeah, you I'm, know, tr- I'm trying to see why it's so critically acclaimed. Cause the, I, lobster, I, the Lobster feels like a movie that, like, you know, maybe Wes Anderson could have done. This feels like a movie that fucking Gasper No would have done. Lars von Trier. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was you know? thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man. It was, it, I, Let me lick you. Yeah, it's like a lot of licking, a lot of sexual stuff, like just between the whole family. Oh, like yeah, they, I wasn't, they, they put wasn't on, a fan. They put on their headphones and then fuck each other the moment the two. Yeah, I just, yeah. I, you yeah. know, uh, can we talk about the ending a little bit? I mean, uh, yeah. okay, she gets in the truck and escapes. <laughs> yeah. So I know Nat was saying earlier, you know, I was talking to him that you're supposed to, you can either have like an optimistic like outlook. For interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. She's stuck in the trunk. She wasn't getting out. So what's going on? She's just going to rot in there? Well, people say, find? well, you know, you can open up a trunk from the inside and maybe she gets out, but the camera didn't stick on it long enough or she's fucking she's dead. She got done bashing her mouth with a fucking weight yeah. and passed out in the trunk. Why wouldn't she just go hide in the trunk in the first place? Don't bash out your tooth. She just Well, she well she bashed her tooth out, so she knows she can leave, right? Why doesn't the fuck she just jump the gate and leave? <laughs> what's, I don't why, get it. Why wouldn't they have just done that in the first place? This movie was fucked. Really well, I have up. no opinion. Yeah, sorry guys, that was uh. No, you don't have to. Oh, <laughs> that I'm, that I'm was gonna happy, be better. I'm happy to have say I, I know I've seen it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly. the point of this. You know, we watch shit that we wouldn't fucking ever watch. So 
Mm-hmm. It's not like you'd seen it and knew beforehand. I mean, I would have checked that out because I, I enjoyed The Lobster. You know, if I, I actually remember reading about this movie and like thought, okay, you know, that might sound interesting, but totally not what I expected. It, it kind of sounds way. like. Well, yeah, I thought it would have been similar in tone to The Lobster. You know, it could have passed as like a Wes Anderson thing. This was just fucking disturbing. Weird. Yeah, weird. And I, I usually and boring you know, like, too. It, did, it, there, yeah. it didn't go anywhere. You know, I yeah. usually like fucked up weird shit, but this was just like not. This just didn't cut it for me, man. Yep. Okay. Oh well. Score out of five. Two, two, two and, and a half. half, maybe. I had it at three, but then I thought about it for you know a couple hours and two and a half. Yeah, it's probably like a three, two and a half for me. I like the story, like what was there, but just it, it was a mess. You know, though, this is another situation. Like, you know, I was looking on Letterbox, and like the average score is like four. You know, m- most people on there have rated it four. I'm like, what the fuck am I missing? Yeah, right? I mean, it's, they, think it's, they think it's artsy, and they yeah, think it's like commentary yeah. on society yeah. and shit like I, that. You know, I always look at movies that I watch. Like, what what is the average rating compared to what I think? And that was one of them where I just didn't um, relate with the general opinion, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You were saying that they were showing like the Greek like family tradition of like the overbearing father and shit yeah, like that. Like, I just don't. Crazy into it. I don't care that much to look into it that deep. It was just <laughs> a fucked up movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, Didn't maybe work. that maybe that's what it was. It was like a made for Greek. You know, it's like an inside kind of thing that you would have. The to lobster, watch. though. Yeah, I mean, definitely the lobster still worth watching. You know, if you didn't like this, not to be swayed off watching the lobster. It's a lot lighter in tone. You know, it's fucking. It's a movie. It's not so disturbing. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so Matt, I guess it's Matt's pick. Yeah, so we'll do Roman Holiday. I, I've been wanting to see it with Aubrey Hepburn. <laughs> Aubrey Hepburn. And Hugh Grant. <laughs> Hugh Grant. No, I, I really want to see that. And you said it's on Netflix, right? Yeah, it's in my queue right now, so hopefully it's still there. So it's a, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm positive. Yeah, cool. I'm okay. down. It's a, little, we, uh, it's a minute under two hours. So Yeah, we won't be back next week. We're taking the uh, yep. week off, so yep. you guys got you know a couple weeks to watch it. Yep, no episode next week. There will be some content uh, in place of this on YouTube. So, yeah. Yep. Me? For that. But uh, other than Dog uh, Tooth, what else you guys watched? Anything? Anyone? I have myself. Well, right. go go for it. Pick okay. pick one because I think we're kind of running a little deep here. Okay. Well, I know me and Filmies both checked out the Phenom. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mm. Great. Go to, great go to theater for that one. Uh, you know, I got an advanced screening over here in <laughs> Granite City. That's great. All right. All right. The red carpet over GC. Yeah, Johnny Simmons was there himself. I got an autograph uh, out Ooh. of it. So, but uh, no, fucking. I thought it was a solid movie. Uh, I think I did a trailer thing on the YouTube channel for this. You know, you did one. I know I did. But Ethan Hawk, <laughs> Ethan Hawk, <laughs> Ethan Hawk, Bubby, Bubby, Bubby. I want to check that out. I'm a big Ethan Hawk. Yeah, he's Oscar fantastic. Was. Yeah, he's like all, all the performances all all around. Like uh, I know me and filmmakers were talking earlier. The dialogue. Is like okay. I just the scenes of you know the conversation scenes are great. Um, Paul Giamatti's great in the movie. It's just all around really solid. Short as hell too, like hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to scope that one out. I was a big baseball fan and Ethan Hawke enthusiast. Gotta watch it. Yeah, Ethan Hawke's peep, scary, peep man, dude. <laughs> like for peep real. Yo, peep this out. Yeah, peep it. So check it the fuck out. Better for show. Bomb, bomb sexy. For show. <laughs> Bomb sexy film. Gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I checked out a Woody Allen film, Manhattan. Ooh. Oh, the black and white one, right? Yes. My, oh, I, I, touch the kids I, afterwards. That film. I, I didn't I touch that. kids, but he does. <laughs> yeah, he refuses to watch that film. Oh, wow, I loved it. I mean, I thought. Oh, I know. Yeah. I thought the dialogue was really good. Uh, characters that I actually cared about. You know, he's he's going in and out of relationships and. Uh, it's just a really solid flick. It's just like good, like New York film. Like it's like a love letter, I think, to just New York in general. Well, I love New York, so gotta like, watch New York. <laughs> I watched it uh, a couple, of weeks, a couple no. weeks back. I thought it was pretty solid, dude. Meryl Streep, so hot in that movie. Whoa! Is it on Netflix that all the time? What? Uh, I got the blue. I don't know. Oh, I'll look I... up a picture of Meryl Streep in Manhattan. Dude, she's hot in that, dude. I'm telling you. Fire. Mama, the devil wears Prada fire. Oh just, yeah, I would have, I would have gone. Yeah, but ba- basically he's dating a seventeen-year-old. He's forty-one years old, and uh, <laughs> right line, Woody. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Woody, and uh, he ends up falling in love with his friend's mistress. So it's like a a lot of stuff going on. Yep. Cool. Definitely, really, definitely. Really. Need to it. uh 
dive into the Woody Allen filmography a little bit. Just scratch the surface. So, someday. Does some good stuff. He's he's another one of those really good dialogue writers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Matt, what you? Uh, the only one I checked out was uh, I finally watched Midnight Special. Okay. I got to watch that one. Uh, yeah. You know what? A little disappointed. Not not as good as I thought it was going to be. I, you know, we talked about it last time. Uh, I watched Take Shelter, and I really liked it. So this time around, I thought it was going to be better. And, uh, yeah, it was it was kind of all over the place. They're, they didn't really hang out in too much of the uh, story arc, so you couldn't really care about any one, you know, enough. And I know Filmies and Nick, you both saw it, right? Yep. I really liked that one as well. It's, you liked it, right? But me and Nick are kind of like, Yeah, it's kind of the same. Like, uh, I don't just like the story wasn't thick enough, you know, I felt like, yeah, it, I felt like it needed more, you know, to kind of fulfill, fulfill me anyway. I will say the kid, the kid in it is pretty fucking good. Like, yeah. the little parts that he had in it. And Michael Shannon and Joel Edgerton were great. And that was the kind of story arc I liked about it. But the whole religious part or the FBI chase, I really didn't give a shit. So, right. A little let down, but you know the cinematography and all that stuff was was solid. Yeah, I like I told these guys I'd uh, I'd revisit it. I'd own the blue. Yeah, check it out. Soundtrack too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. the soundtrack actually is really good. Yeah. Right on, yeah. man. Yeah, interested. Yep. So myself personally, I revisited a 1996 comedy classic, The Nutty Professor. No, I'm just kidding. I won't talk about that. We'll uh, we'll cool. talk about. Uh, <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> great film. Great film. Uh, I, I finally watched uh, Blood Simple. Uh, we I talked about that. Was that was that last week we talked about that? Uh, yeah, Criterion? it was Criterion yeah. getting released. Yeah, the yeah. Criterion's coming out, and I was thinking, fuck, you know, I've had that regular Blu-rays part of the Coen Brothers set for years now, collecting dust. So, finally gave it a watch, and I believe that's their um, direct feature film, debut. yeah, debut. Yeah. So, definitely was a uh, you know feeling it, wanted to pop it in, and man, great easy watch, ninety some minutes. Fucking good film, man. Had a really good time with it. Kind of surprised me. You know, that that happens so often. I'm sitting on movies for years and I watch them thinking, fuck, I should have watched this a long time ago. Just, yeah. Like I have this good movie just collecting dust that I don't even know about. Yep. Uh, that's a, I think that's a pretty solid movie. Some yeah. Good performances from like actors I've really, I really don't see in movies, you know, other than Francis McDormand or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. It was. I was, I was pretty impressed with it. I, th- I thought it was going to be boring, you know, like, oh, you know, amateur first fucking movie, you know. So, had, so would you pick the Criterion? Or are you, I, was, I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe, but I got it as part of that set, so I don't know. Oh, I, but you it, already own it, so you're buying it from the artwork then? No, I, I, well, no, I would I buy it for the definitive the edition, yeah. yeah. That was the transfer, okay. yeah. the Blu-ray. I, I wouldn't, I, I mean, it was fine. I wouldn't run out and buy it right away, but, you know, down the line maybe, I feel like watching it again, grab the Criterion. It's a good movie. I want to see. So it. quit trying to make jabs at me, fuckface. Fuck face. Sorry, sorry, Dad. It's all right, son. <laughs> Anyone sure, else wrap this? Dad. No, Fuck put it, it in the books. I'm running, running late on time. Got to go to work here, man. Um, again, no new episode next week. If you guys are listening, but um, head on over to the YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash/Cinema Scumbags. Get your uh, scumbags fix. Uh, like I said, we've got a uh, movie night coming up, and make sure you check out uh, top five Steven Spielberg films put together by Nick D. Nice work on that one. Um, tons of stuff over there, man. You say it every week: commentaries, reviews, everything. Uh, movie hunting, a lot of stuff coming up with Filmies and Matt. Then me and Nick D. Later on in July. So uh, yeah, tons of stuff over there. Follow us on um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Cinema Scumbags. Got a couple things we're working on for the show. Maybe some potential guests coming up. So you know, be on the lookout. Um, trying to improve the the content as we go. Uh, closing thoughts, fellas. Anything to say? Happy Fourth of July. That's right. Have a good holiday, everyone. Uh, We'll see you in a couple weeks. Thank you guys for listening. And as always, go fuck yourselves.